Even as the world continues to fight against the coronavirus pandemic, young men and women from Nigeria are fighting another pandemic that has seemed to turn lethal and fatal and whose end results are set to impact the younger generation. It all started on Tuesday evening, some few hours after the country celebrated its Independence Day, after a video circulating on social media showed two armed men shooting a young man outside a hotel in Lagos. <laughs> this prompted young men and women to hit the street in protest of police brutality with the hashtag End SARS movement. The end SARS protests have been occasioned by the increasingly brutal tactics deployed by the anti-robbery squad, a special police unit that was formed in 1922 to deal with crimes involving robbery, kidnappings and firearms. <laughs> Despite the disbandment of the unit by the Nigerian president, Muhammadu Buhari, on Tuesday, protesters have not relented, saying that the SARS unit has been disbanded several times, only to re-emerge with a different name with the same officers. I would say Nigerian government, you guys are ashamed to the world for killing your own citizens, sending military to the streets to kill unarmed full protesters because they are protesting for their rights. It's uncalled for. African countries all over the world have come out to show solidarity with Nigeria, with the hashtag I stand with Nigeria dominating social media streets for the better part of the week. We've been making some tangible efforts to try and support your protests on the ground. I know it's getting to a stage where things are heating up and tensions are high, but in my prayers at night, I'm praying for peace and positivity. I'm calling the UK government, calling all those leaders in the world to please See what is going on in Nigeria and help us, help the, 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 the poor citizens. This comes even as an indefinite 24-hour curfew has been imposed in Nigeria's largest city, Lagos, with the city's governor, Babajide Sonwolu, alleging that criminals had hijacked the movement to unleash scaffolds and squash properties. Even as the world continues to watch as one of their own bleeds, Nigerian youths are determined to fight for their future and the future of their younger generation while demanding for police reforms in the country, justice for victims of police brutality, as well as calling for the release of arrested protesters. Dijina Magundu, K24 Evening Edition.